Window displays were a holiday highlight at Eaton stores across the country. With the Canadian store officially closing its doors in 1999, people looking for a window into the past can now step back in time at the Children's Museum in Manitoba. 15 holiday-themed vignettes are on display through the season. Classic tales like Cinderella, Rumpelstiltskin and the Three Blind Mice, among others, come to life with the push of a button in this fully restored Eaton's fairy tale display. People from a long time ago remember going into Eaton's and visiting these uh, year after year at Christmas. Eaton's at the time, it sort of, from its opening in 1905, really coined itself as a holiday location. The animatronic robots are extremely delicate and made from a mix of paper mache, fabrics and other materials. Andrea Brickwood with the Children's Museum says these figures were on display in the 1960s. At the time, they would have had a team taking care of them in the store. Now a team cares for them at the museum. A conservator stops by to repair any damages or replace gears that no longer work. This year we noticed that um, Prince Charming's head was bowing a little bit too low over Sleeping Beauty. Um, and so we had her come in and just fix him up a little bit, bring his head up just a little bit. In the past, the vignettes created a walkway to Santa, and Brickwood says they were a big attraction for shoppers. After Eaton's declared bankruptcy and the store chain closed for good, the museum inherited the displays. Former Eaton's window display manager, Giles Bugaliskis, thinks it's incredible the mechanical dolls were saved and are still bringing smiles to the people who see them decades later. Nobody makes mechanical windows or mechanical dolls anymore. It's a lost art. Starting at just 20 years old, Bugaliskis would travel twice a year to New York to see what was on trend for window displays and bring inspiration back to Winnipeg. Bugaliskis says he would often start working on his displays months in advance. By early spring, we would start thinking about what we would do for Christmas windows. Bugaliskis left Eaton's in the 80s, but still recalls the extraordinary craftsmanship it took to keep the robotic figures spinning and twirling all day long. In their new home, the dolls only move for a few seconds at a time when activated by visitors. We installed the buttons for them, so switches, because it was much easier on all of the different components and the motors and things to be able to be pushed by push button rather than working all the time. The displays are available to view until January 8th. In Winnipeg, Mark Neufeld, City News. In one minute on City.